Take this. Daddy's coming, yeah? You see? In here. In here. I am with you. Always. Okay? I have been on this journey for as far back as I can remember. I have spoken to a few counselors about it, including my spiritual leader, my pastor, someone who I deeply revere. And? And what? When you talk to them, how do you feel? My pastor. <laughs> Bless his heart. Well, I guess it felt good to be able to talk to someone. I got some respite. But the actual fact is, I just, I just need someone to talk to. Maybe someone who has a different outlook on this issue. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. So, let's talk about these nightmares you say you are having. How often are they? <laughs> Too often. I hardly get any sleep nowadays. My work is suffering. Everything around me is basically suffering. Insomnia, I guess. And these dreams, they are about your mother, mostly. Yes. Can you tell me a bit about your mother? Goodness, I, I am so sorry. I totally forgot that I have an appointment for 2 p.m. I must have double booked or something. I am so sorry, but I have to leave. It's fine. Um, Miss Ujibu. Please, let's continue this soon. I assure you, you're doing the right thing for yourself and for those you care about. And I'm here to help. Thank you. Hey girls, I'm so sorry I'm late. Who's getting married? No. Has Richard proposed? <laughs> oh hey, my god. Watch your salad. 
baby. Hi. So it's been three good years with you and uh, I don't want to spend this with any other person. Babe, I want us to spend the rest of our lives together. And so... <laughs> I don't know. Will you marry me? Your mom will be so proud. Kana, she's crying. Na, Kana is crying. Please, please. I hope she knows that Omugo is not forever. Sooner or later, I will have to go back to Onicha and turn to my farm. New Year Festival is fast approaching. And a belly that I left there, mm, she does not know anything. Mama, she knows, eh? She's just resting. Resting? Uh -uh. By this time? Nadozi, what mother with a seven year old and a newborn baby decides to sleep till 7 p.m. in the evening? Mama, she will catch up. Eh, she will catch up. Nadozi. She will catch up. When? When will she catch up? Eh? Nadozi, it's been solid seven months. Back on one, sir. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You see what she will catch up? Other women see babies as a blessing. Guanun, why must her own be different? Why? I have said this before, and I will say it again. May God punish whosoever sent that witch of a woman to tie you down. Yes! Ha! Ah! What if I make a farm who don't know why? Now, nah, Jesus! And can I will not stop until she has come back to me. Mama, again, now, again, stop it! Because in here, again, stop it! If she knew she was not ready for another one, she would have shut her legs together and allowed you to take a second one. Have you did it? could not go her own way. Ah! Ninja, you get up. Let me guess. They called you. Oh, finally. You picked up. What happened? 
it was just a bit too sudden all in one day i mean first it was your shrink who came highly recommended oh you tell her to call him after all how did he go well so far so good i guess i am to undergo a special type of treatment some trauma related therapy like that um, yeah yes trauma focused psychotherapy hmm that's a mouthful i know in subsequent visit he'll prescribe a medication fluxotine or something like that i don't know if i can do this mm -hmm. adana baby steps baby steps okay i finally read her letter kenne are you there yes <laughs> yes i'm here did you hear what I said? Yes, I did. I'm sorry. I don't know. I was... I didn't see that coming. At least not yet. Well, me neither. I mean, I used to always think she left because she didn't want us. <sighs> well, she actually left because she felt like she couldn't love us the way we deserved and it was hard for her to stick around. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know if I understand it. I just know that I am exhausted, Kene. I am tired of carrying her around in my heart and in my head. What do you think? I think this is a major breakthrough. Adana, I know this is hard. And this journey is a long one. But that's why you're in therapy with Dr. Diagui. Take it a day at a time. Let him help you. Look, she was my mom too, but I didn't know her. But you did. So I understand why it's so hard moving on and letting go. But Adana, she's your past. My child is your future. It's time to heal and move on. Okay? When I was younger, my mother took her own life in front of me. I was only seven years old. <laughs> <laughs> 